guys, Jella here, and I hope you can't hear the rain. Today, we have an extra delicious smelling <laughs> YouTube video because I am reviewing and giving you my first impressions on the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection. <laughs> Finally, the sweet peach wait is over. Because of how successful this palette was, everyone wanted to get their hands on it last summer when it was released and it sold out so quickly. Too Faced has come up with a collection based on this baby. Now it comes with a blush, a highlighting palette, and creamy peach oil lip glosses. So yeah, it's back for good. It's still available on Too Faced's website, but last week when this was sent to me, I think they also released it in Asia, AKA Sephora Singapore, and other Sephora sites around the world, I believe. And it sold out in just two days. So I'm gonna share with you the products that you should get, or maybe the products that you should skip. Some people on YouTube really love the collection. Some people decided it wasn't worth their money. So I'm gonna try to decipher that for you today. Let's see if it's hit or miss. So keep on watching to see how I feel about these peaches. Here it is, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection. And it comes in this really huge, cute peach box. It says Too Faced on the front and has this cute peach on the flap of the box and when you open it <laughs> wait <laughs> wait let's try that again when you open it it looks like this inside it says sweet as a peach the peach panic is over there's a cover of a girl who has really pretty makeup on and I'm assuming she's wearing all the peach stuff and it says oh my gosh it's back when you remove that flap cover. Taya. This is what it looks like inside. Yo. Yeah. So inside we have the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Collection Palette, a Sweet Peach Peach Infused Highlighting Palette, a Too Faced Pop I Don't Peach Peach Infused Blush. And eight, not one, but eight. Eight of the creamy peach oil lip gloss. So I'm gonna pick up one because holding this box is giving me a workout. So here are some of the colors of the creamy peach oil lip gloss. And of course, let us not forget the cute, cute, cute peach bag that they sent in with the whole collection. Actually, I wasn't even expecting this. I thought they were just gonna send me like a few items to try out, but no, I got the whole YouTuber package that I've been seeing on everybody's, ah, on everybody's sweet, on everybody's sweet peach collection videos. And I was like, I'm so happy it's at Christmas. Everything, by the way, is infused with peach. And I don't know the health benefits or beauty benefits of peach, but I'm thinking it's a good plus. <laughs> I'm thinking it's a good plus, I don't know. Anyways, let's get to it. So let's start with the Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Collection. It comes with 18 shades inside. Honestly, I have kind of tried this palette. I've tried a dupe of this palette, so let us see the difference. So first off, the packaging looks super cute. There's a peach gradient on the front with the Sweet Peach logo. And when you open it, there is a mirror, and that's what it looks like. This retails for about, let me check, is about, on Sephora PH, at least 2,953 pesos. So let's see if this is worth your 2,000 pesos. Okay, upon opening it, 
aside from smelling amazing and I'm loving the mirror, I think there are more shimmery shades in this palette more than matte shades. So if you're a fan of the shimmery shades, girl, this is for you. At first glance, I am loving Candied Peach. Let's try a live swatch. That is Candied Peach. Next, this is Talk Derby to me. And kind of not as solid as I thought it would be. Let's swatch one more color. Maybe one of the... How about Summer Yum? It's perfect for the red eye makeup look. It's very pigmented. Of the three that I've swatched, that's probably my favorite. So I'm gonna try to create a makeup look using some of the colors and I'll be back and tell you what I feel about these. A few inches later. I just finished trying out the Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette and I would say that I like it. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't like it as much because I mean I've tried the dupe and obviously the dupe would suck because it's a dupe but you're really paying for the quality when you get the real one. It smells amazing while you're putting your makeup on. It's such an experience to be like, ah, my makeup smells so good in my eyes today. <laughs> I would buy this palette. I would save up for it. I had such a great time playing with all the colors. I tried to use most of them so I can see how blendable it is. And it, yes, it is blendable. Most of them are really pigmented and Bellini. Bellini has got to be my favorite. It is like a rose gold kind of eyeshadow and it is gorgeous. I recommend this if you have the budget to buy it. Why not? But if you do not have one, ask someone to gift it to you for your birthday or Christmas or Valentine's. Overall, great job, Peach. It is a uh, Sweet Peach Glow Illuminating Blushing and Bronzing Palette is infused with a juicy scent and skin-loving essence of peach to give your face a radiant natural glow. Packaging super cute, the peach gradient in a tin can. When you open it, there's a mirror and you can see that it has gold inside. So let's swatch them first on my hand. So this is the highlighter. This is the Sweet Peach Glow Blush. And last is the bronzer. Let's try out the bronzer. Is anything happening though? And bronzer work for me. Okay, so first up we have the bronzer and it's not gonna show up instantly. You have to do a lot of swipes before you actually see it on your face. Oh, I'm not really sure how I feel about these yet. Oh, by the way, they may look metallic on the pan, but when you put them on your face, they're surprisingly matte, so, hmm, mystery. I'm gonna try this blush on my left cheek so we can try the Papa Don't Peach blush on my right. Mm. Once again, you need quite a lot of swipes to get the product showing on your face. Oh, up close it does have a bit of a shimmer. That's actually really cute. It's just I don't like that I had to swipe a lot of times before I achieve this color and it's not even super blushy yet. Maybe for fairer skin tones, this would work better. Let's try the highlighter last. So far, I have not found the highlighter of my dreams yet, so hopefully, peach one, you might be it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but in fairness, this highlighter is really nice. Okay, so I've just finished trying the Sweet Peach Glow Bronzing and Highlighting Palette for 2,531 pesos. Well, you do get three products, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work for my skin tone because I had to apply quite a lot to get it to show on my face and I'm not even sure if it's showing on camera right now. I'll give it a Karina. If your skin tone's medium to dark, 
I suggest maybe this won't be for you. Oh. Sorry, sweet peach. Before we move on to the lips, we are gonna try the Pop I Don't Peach Blush. The perfect bronzy peach that adds a pop of warmth and a sexy glow to any complexion. Oh, I want a sexy glow. Sounds promising, and I guess this was a blush that has been a Too Faced favorite. And they brought it back as part of the Sweet Peach collection. So let us try it out on my right cheek this time. But, <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, this blush. Woof, woohoo, ah. I don't know if it's showing, but. It looks gorgeous in person. Not even gonna wait to say that this peach is worth buying. 1,808 on Sephora PH for the cute packaging, the mirror, and and how beautiful it is on my cheek right now. I'm gonna cheat on the other cheek and try put it on. It's like a rose gold highlighting blush but it's amazing on the skin it looks like i was slapped with some peach glow from the orchards of heaven what can i say i am in love with the papadon peach blush if you're looking for a blush that will change your life like it just did mine this is it last but not the least we have the Creamy Peach Oil Lip Glosses. It includes lip-loving peach oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E to soften and moisturize the lips. Ooh. There are eight shades. Peach Fuzz, Poppin' Peach, Peachicle, Pure, Pure Peach, Tickle Me Peach, Peach Please, Papa don't peach. Ooh, I guess it is kind of like the blush and peach teas. Yeah, I'll try two to three colors just for y'all. This is what it looks like. And there is a cute peach on the top of the packaging that says the name. I'm gonna try a pop in peach first because it is a sweet peach collection. What it looks like. Super cute packaging. It is 4 ml in each of these. Ooh, can you see that? Wow, the smell on these are even more peachy than all the other products. It's like you wanna eat it. It smells like peach candy. I'm kinda tempted, but I won't. This has got to be the worst lip swatch ever, but this is Pop and Peach. Next color that I'm gonna try is Peach Teas. It is a beautiful peachy pink shade that looks so good with the rest of the peach themed makeup. I am loving these lip oil creamy things so far. So last lippy for now, Papa Don't Peach. My lips fit better but in lip gloss form and this is perfect for everyday looks or if you want something natural. Overall, I'm a fan of these lippies. I think they're worth the price. Just make sure you pick a color that you will use a lot or a color that you feel would add to your collection. You don't have to get all eight, I think. Just pick out the colors that speak to you the most. So that was the Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. Out of 10, I would probably rate this whole collection a solid 7.5? Okay, that's not a solid because there's a 0.5. 8 out of 10 peaches. Only because I wasn't so pleased with the Sweet Peach Glow highlighting palette. Um, I wish it showed up more on my skin than I would rate this whole collection a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know if you had a different experience. Maybe you can comment down below. Maybe I'm using it wrong. But yeah, if you're thinking of getting the collection, I think you should really invest on the eyeshadow palette. The Papa Don't Peach Blush. If I had to pick a favorite, I can't pick a favorite. But this has got to be one of the best blushes I have ever used in my life. And you should also go and pick up one of, or a few of the creamy peach oil lip glosses. They feel so good on my lips. 
They look so cute and these together create the cutest summery glowy peachy look. Thank you so much again Sephora for sending this box over. I did not expect that I would get the crazy YouTube package with the peach bag and everything. Thank you so much for making my peach dreams come true. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you have any qualms about the peach collection or if you have any favorites that you've already tried, maybe you can put them down in the comment section and I want to read them all or suggest anything down below if you want to see more style videos, Q&A videos, which I haven't done. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you can hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoyed this quick review. So see you next time and this is Jelaviv. May the peach be with you.